Well, when Chris and I got married, we, we both came to the marriage with a child, with a boy. So we already knew we were starting with two right away, instant family. Uh, I think the plan was to probably have two or three more kids. Ideally, a couple of girls would be nice. The uh, pregnancy, honestly, was unremarkable in the sense that it was uh, no different. This was our third child together. The day we were going to the hospital, literally that day, I can remember standing in our bedroom and talking to Chris and saying, I just feel like something, what if something's not right? What if, what if there's something wrong with this baby? And very specifically, I said, what if this baby has Down syndrome? And I'm thinking to myself, what? Where, are you, where, you know, where is this even coming from? Come on, you know, this is last minute jitters. We've had kids before. We've seen no indication that anything's gonna be any different about this child. We've not had a special needs child, not just in our family, but anywhere in either of our families. When we were at the hospital, um, everything was normal at first, and then all of a sudden, just very quickly, everything changed. And it was an immediate need to get him out, and uh, he went, and she delivered him, and and he was um, he was not breathing. He uh, was purple. His umbilical cord had uh, gotten wrapped around his neck right as they were getting ready to deliver him. So it went from a very normal, okay, let's get ready to push pregnancy to we're going in and getting him out now. They rushed him over to a little table uh, there in the room and doctors and nurses were around him trying to resuscitate him. And it was, um, I was trying to look over the uh, shoulders of the nurses and doctors and see what was going on. I could hear Amy in the background, you know, why, can't, why isn't he crying, why isn't he crying? That's all she kept saying. My doctor looked at him and once they got him stabilized and, and everything, she looked at him and she brought him over to me and I looked at him and the minute I looked, the, I knew. I knew he had Down syndrome. It was one of those things because in, in, in just a few minutes, you go from childbirth to wondering if your child is even alive to being beyond thankful that your child is alive, and then finding out 30 seconds later your child has Down syndrome, which we were totally and always uh, unprepared for. So those first few minutes were an unbelievable emotional roller coaster. There were times that there was some anger there. There was the, the why me, and the what am I supposed to do with this, and, and I have no idea what, what I'm doing. My mind was already spiraling into five years from now. What was gonna happen when he goes to school and when he gets older? Well, what do we do now? What does that mean? What does that mean going forward? Uh, you know, are there medical issues? I mean, we knew nothing. So we just did what we need to do and that was we prayed. He's five years old, just turned five uh, last month. He, uh, he is more than I could have ever hoped for or imagined. Um, he has brought, he is, he's a blessing, and I can't even imagine him any other way. First of all, I think when we started that journey, we thought that we were doing Addison a favor, that somehow we were martyring ourselves and our family for taking care of a special needs child, that this would be a burden on us, but we would endure it in the name of our faith and whatnot. And it became so evident so quickly that we had that, <laughs> that we had that so backwards. I had a friend share with me right after Addison was born and he had this newborn with Down syndrome, special needs, I had no idea what that was gonna look like. And, and she told me, she said, you know, Amy, she said, you were chosen. She said, not everybody gets to raise a special needs child, but God chose you and your family specifically for this, this little bundle. I think it's absolutely part of God's plan. I don't think, um, I don't think there are accidents. Um, I believe very strongly that we are the family that he chose for a special needs child. I can't imagine life without Addison and the blessing that he has brought to our family and his brothers. You know, I can't tell you how proud I am of my other boys and the way that they treat him, the way they watch out for him, the way that they love him. Well, I have to say he's probably the most joyful person I have ever seen. He is 
Like a little bundle of joy that God brought into this family. I cannot actually imagine Addison being any different. I don't think I would really even want it. He is perfect just the way he is. And I mean, it's like if you take the best of someone's traits, but then take out all of the junk that happens as you grow older, you know, the malice, uh, the jealousy, the hatred, all the emotions that come up in us as we grow up, as we uh, spend more time in the world. Um, just imagine having nothing but innocence and joy and unconditional love. I will tell you that there have been nights that I have prayed that I was more like Addison. 